What's going on? Caught me a little morale action going on here. Right. Big Daddy's right there. Uh, here's the scale. There's the freaking. Let me see. There's my hand uh, next to it. Let's get a better angle here. Look at that freaking batch. Yeah, I've been waiting. I've been hearing uh, around here they've been finding them this year that looking size of pop cans. There's one right there. There's... I can't see those back there, but there's a couple back there too. That's pretty. It's pretty awesome. So I had another kind of successful season. Learned a lot of kind of like like uh, new kind of potential areas. I had uh, some success with the uh, exploration, but not as good as uh, you know the first spot that I found by accident. But I noticed uh, a lot of the frequent signs, like right here, what you got? You got that bark that fell off that tree there. Like the elms do that. So, and here's another thing that you got here. You got a slight, this thing's built on a little hump here, okay? So, it's kind of like they tend to like hills. They tend to like the bark. Um, they like a partial shade, partial sun. See, and we got some pine needles in this area here too, but they don't commonly grow on pine needles, though I do find a, a handful here and there. But the, the biggest, they love the hill because it can't be too wet or too dry. Can't be too bright or too dark. Can't be too hot or too cold. Uh, if you see, they, they like blooming crab apples. So if you see a down elm on a hill by a crab apple. Um, and then you see this mushroom down over here, this pheasant's tail. Uh... You got mushrooms in there, and there's another sign. If you see the partial shade, so you can see the light right on the other side of these bushes here. So it's kind of like you get some light in this area, but then again, you got canopy too. Um, and uh, let me think what else is the other sign? Um, hmm. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, they like the hill. They like, uh, you know, I do find them in sand, but I more often find them in black dirt. Not necessarily, I don't don't think I found many in clay, clayish areas. Um, you know, I have found a couple by the bases of trees in the deep woods, but I haven't had a whole lot of uh, luck with that. But tell you what, that down tree right there on a hill... And a partial sh shade, partial sun. That'll, uh, that's enough details right there to man get you what you're looking for, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, man, I've uh, pretty, uh, for being, uh, you know, kind of not my rookie season here. This is like a couple, I've had a couple opportunities. It's like, uh, you know, uh, it's pretty, pretty awesome because, uh, yeah, I've probably found about 40 or 50 of them so far. You know, most of them just melted, but I, I don't even like to eat them. Uh, it's more or less like a rush and a thrill. An awesome kind of uh, uh, awesome thing to look forward to every year. I'm kind of, I can't wait for these things to come out. I've been, and I, I was lucky enough to be able to camp these ones for... A few, it's been about nine, ten days already, so I've been watching them grow. Oh, yeah, you know, it's like if they, what I, I heard, if the area floods routinely, it's probably uh, not a good place to look. I said, don't waste your time. I see you know. thought I seen them over here, which would be awesome, but I don't think so.
yeah, it's kind of, you know, where, you, where there's one, you'll probably find some more, but, you know, it, there is sometimes there's just one, like, in a whole area, and it's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of a tease a little bit sometimes when you find them like that, because it's like, man, you just know there's somewhere around here. You can kind of, I kind of got this, uh, a few times I've just hopped out of the car and walked off right where I kind of, I kind of use my intuition and I kind of like see how this area looks in my mind. I kind of take a picture of that. And then when I go to new spots, I kind of look for overlaying patterns or conditions and you start with the most, you know, the ones that look like the highest probability. And then, you know, you know, so I had about a, 70% success with that, but there's a couple times where I was kind of just wandering around exploring. And after, if you're not on hot, you're not finding any, you might just want to do something else, like look for sticks or rocks or take pictures of animals or something or go hiking or something else. And then a lot of the times while you're doing something else, you just bump into them by accident. Another, another way you're having trouble is ask someone else where they think they would go and sometimes it's like take yourself out of the equation and just go ask somebody else who should be knowledgeable or you know you got that other factor of of uh of beginner's luck so sometimes it's just it's kind of weird sometimes all you need is some inspiration you don't need necessarily uh a whole lot to get going it's just kind of need to and sometimes you need it's good to get help to make a decision especially if you find yourself at a standstill or like I was on a roll and it went cold for a second and I had to kind of regroup but I, I noticed it looks like these things just blew up and multiplied in the past few days like which is a good sign so that means maybe my other spots where I was already lucky I should be able to go and find some more if my theory's correct you know that's the thing it's it's pretty dope it's been like being a little somewhat of a amateur kind of uh, scientist uh, when it comes to this these fungus uh, you know in their s short season but yeah it's been uh it's been uh it's been great anyway happy hunting until next time